What the f***? Too much going on. Activate slow motion. Wow, it's so cool. Hello, Earthlings. It's Commander Ken reporting in with another update. Been working on some new features. I'm going to show you guys. The most important feature is, of course, the logo has been added. Just kidding, it's actually the Steam page has been online now. So, if you're interested, check out the link in the description below and uh, add it to your wish list. But uh, let's get going here. First things first is the tutorial I just added, which is a pretty much a complete redo of the previous edition. Now it Looks actually like has a hologram and rider. subtitles, so this you can follow along training. with the instructions. I am the Assistive Intelligence Director, or AIDS. A poor choice of acronym in my synthetic opinion. Yay for generic robot voices. But uh, it does show you how to do things now, uh, with the gestures as well as the controller overlays, so that's going to be Good quite one. useful. The first phase pretty much covers all the map controls, and then it Welcome takes you into the ship. helm controls and goes she over that as like well. Much, but she's got it where it counts. In this mode, you can directly command your ship. Also added instructionals for the Welcome fleet assembly menus, which was kind of complicated in the beginning. But now we also have our hologram here with the subtitles to go over the sections of the interface, as well as what to do hire. for your first time around, which Captains is a good orientation now. Ship can be found here in your roster. Getting into some gameplay changes, the right hand menu has been redesigned. So there's now these big icons, so before there were small, tiny little button strips, which were difficult to hit, so these should be fairly easy to tangle in a tight situation. The helm controls are a little bit different. We now have a handle for controlling the ship as opposed to a stick. The right hand panel now has subsystem targeting, so whatever you're picking out, you can target its subsystem without having to go back to the map. So like uh, this one, yeah, changes there, target and then required. that's a new one that you can pick out, whatever you're looking to target. Main helm controls are the same, with the grip and trigger to fire, which is quite nice. Added vibration so you can actually feel the pulses now. And then uh, if you notice on the left side, you have your ship's special ability, so again, you don't have to go back to the map to target, so for instance, Particle cannon, we can assign right into helm mode, and then we rotate, and then there it goes. Quite satisfying. Another feature to make helm controls more viable in gameplay is friendly unit selection. So I can look into the distance, select a friendly, and issue out uh, special abilities right within the helm. So there it goes firing its lancer beam without having to go back to the map. Now probably the coolest feature is time warp, as often there's a lot of crap going on, so what better way to take your time with things than to slow everything down. Now this will be paired up to a key on the controllers, which you can toggle on and off, and then you can figure out the situation, make commands, or just enjoy the glory of slow motion space combat. All functionalities will still work, as well as selecting and issuing commands, so it just gives you more time to deal with things uh, as the missions get more complicated. This was actually surprisingly easy to do in Unity. The whole script is like a hundred lines, not even. Now another feature to go along with that is the spectator cam, which I developed for the trailer, but allows you to float outside your ship and observe the battlefield from third person perspective and you basically control it as you would the map in-game, so grab some gale, rotate with both hands, and then just enjoy the chaos of being outside of your ship. Now this may look cool on your screen, but let me tell you, it is way cooler inside VR, because all the explosions have depth and lasers and bullets are flying by with the perspective, so it's quite intense especially in slow motion, which can also be triggered in spectator mode. 
which makes everything just so glorious. So let's just take a moment here and just take this all in. Okay, so I guess that's enough of a space gasm for one day. Next up on the list is the skirmish mode, which will allow you to set up your own map and pick your enemies and stuff like that, your own scenarios essentially. So remember to check out the Steam page and the Discord link below, and uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. This is Commander Ken, ending transmission.